Morning. Um, so today I woke up at 5.59 a.m. and literally the second I looked on my watch, three seconds later, the alarm went off. That's just the best if that happens, right? You know that feeling, it's the best. And it's also not that bad. And now I'm gonna make coffee. Congratulations. So first one was 20 hours. So I just looked at my um, toggle, which I used to track. So the task I spent the most time on was sleep, 55 hours and 45 minutes. But the second one was the agency and I have 23 hours and 28 minutes. So I got that goal by three hours, but I also know that um, like, the 20 hours of work oh, the, yeah guys. yeah so I, I track 23 hours but at the same time like you're also sometimes getting distracted and like getting on the phone and stuff so when it comes down to it it's problem probably not actually 20 hours mm -hmm. um, so I, I really want to like I want to get to a point where those 20 hours are only in the morning so I know like yeah um, so what do you think you can do to achieve that? Um, yeah, just do it in the morning and don't count the evening sessions or, or be better able to actually either not get distracted or track the distraction in here so I don't count it in the hours. Mm -hmm. So I, then afterwards I put in like, if I work for like four hours but I know I scroll through Instagram for like 30 minutes that I put it in mm -hmm. and so it doesn't count. Do you actually need your phone when you're working? Huh? Mm -hmm. Sorry, do you actually need your phone when you're working? Yeah, usually I try to just keep it in airplane mode. And that's when it when it's good, when I don't touch it at all. But sometimes mm -hmm. I need to touch it and that's when it happens. <laughs> or how about you grouping the moments where you need to touch it for the afternoon for shallow working? I mean, in the morning you actually physically separate yourself from your phone and you leave it downstairs or something like that. Yeah, I like that so actually. So actually you just cannot even check it because you don't have it. Yeah. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. What about going to the gym? I didn't go to the gym every day. I went six times. But the one day I didn't go was the flooding and, and I worked out in my room. So I worked out every so day. It's nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well then. Fire. I guess it's only me left. How about you, Valerie? Yeah. Look at this. It's super clean, everything, everything is clean. It's such a weird feeling to have someone like clean your room and stuff. It's kind of more normal if you're in a hotel, but like I'm living here. And then I was working there, there, and then Devi, her name is Devi. She's super nice, super cool. Um, made the room so nice that it is now. It just feels very weird. But I guess that's how things are. Also, I just saw that my friend Lucy started a daily vlog. Actually, it's running, I think, now. I just watched part of one vlog. Um, I think it's running for now six days or something. Let's see, actually. Let's see, Lucy, where we're at. Nine hours ago. Yeah, it's daily vlog 006 that got uploaded. I'm super excited about that. So I'm going to link that up somewhere. Ricky, can you link that up? Ricky, you're doing that. So can you put it somewhere here or something um, so people can check out Lucy? Thanks, Ricky. And thanks, guys, for checking out Lucy because she is amazing. And um, you should watch a vlog because it's probably more exciting than mine, but that's not, um, that's not very hard. Also, she's a much better editor than I am, but she's also an incredible person. And I do believe that she will do amazing things. So you can hop on the train early on. Um, so yeah, make sure you check out Lucy. And now I'm gonna take a piss. So you guys know that I want to make this vlog about, you know, the, the ups and the downs and everything that happens in between. And so today I really wanted to share kind of a win, something, you know, amazing that happened today. 
and it's that today for the first time in maybe six days I had solid poop again um, which I'm just extremely happy about I mean um, I think this is what they call Bali belly but um, I'm over it now at least for a while what's up um, what did I want to say I think I just wanted to say goodbye well goodbye sounds so final it's not final um, just had a call with with one of my clients or one with our with one of our clients um, That was good, but now it's also 10 30 p.m. And usually I should be in bed at 10 p.m But that's what you do when you have clients in the US and they have a different schedule and are 13 hours ahead of you But yeah, I have had a very good workout today. I worked up my back so Probably some of you guys might be wondering, like, why am I working out? Um, I'm gonna show you why. Um, I have a very big idol, and um, my goal in life, if I would have to define what my goal in life is, um, it's to look like that. I mean, I'm already pretty close with them um, in terms of everything else but um that's that's where I are. that's my big idol the rock anyway i'm gonna go to bed now so see you tomorrow and peace out hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up sitting breathing doing all the things i hate love but why now holy shit i just wanna make a trip to the child